And this speaks to your success, <laughs> whatever that means, you know, whatever flavour <laughs> success is for anybody in particular, you know, going forward, because it's continued. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you are one of the girls, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, so, so you have different gangs now. You uh -huh. have your Kate Moss and you do a Leapers. You Amy Winehouse. Uh, you're very good friends with Amy, which is also in the book. Um, and it has been massively advantageous to your career. Not that it was a strategy. It was just a thing. No, I just love gossiping and like chatting. Like that is my favourite. I always thought like I don't really have any hobbies. And I remember like actively trying to think like, what is my hobby? Yeah. And it genuinely is like mooching around town with my friend Amy, with like just gossiping yeah. about the world with nothing to do. And I think that, I think I'm really good at that hobby. But also it's anthropology. I mean, a scientist would be an anthropologist. <laughs> yeah, we're an an we're, I'm an anthropologist. You're an anthropologist. I'm an anti- <laughs> Yeah, but the thing is, they do, there is there is a name for that. That's the science of it. And you just go out in the real world and do the same kind of thing. And you don't, you know, measure and provide um, stats and uh, formula and theories for mm. things. But yet. you just, you Not do yet. that. You know, you gather and you wrangle, yeah. you know, and you harvest and you bring all that onto the radio and you did that on Radio 1 for a, for a long time. But, you know, you love being one of the girls. And it is different because, you know, when there is a gay man with a, a bunch of girls, you know, the gay man is still has a man's perspective, but in the girls' gang, and that spices it all up. Mm -hmm. And that's why they love having you around. <laughs> one of the reasons they love having you around. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Yeah, like I've always been really comfortable around around girls. And when I was a teenager yeah. and when in my early 20s, I was quite scared of being in a manly environment. Right. But I think when you're a teenager, you don't really know what to, how to stand or what to do with your arms. Uh -huh. So I was really conscious when I was going out, when I started going out of like, oh God, I don't want to like dance to gay or whatever like i don't know do you know what i mean i was really conscious how of gay should i be and you're like how what's my gay level so i talk about like working through all that yeah. when um i was sort of coming of age yeah the book. this is why the book's so important it's an important book you know oh, and i know you, you talk about that in the end because you didn't really know why you were writing it and then a friend said you have to write it mm -hmm. it's really important it helped loads of people and it's helped loads of people probably saved lives this book nick nick grimshaw hilarious and quintessentially nick says do a leap but soft lad coming of age stories so important so funny that aspect particularly uh, that we'll continue to talk about you know being a little gay not knowing that you're a little gay mm -hmm. boy and the fact that eli goes to big school yesterday he's 11 like i say you know he's going to play rugby because he's got to play rugby his reaction to that was he just fell about laughing. He thinks it's the funniest thing in the world. They expect, Me? They expect, literally, like you just did, like, open hand, why? palm down on the chest, right? <laughs> they want me to play rugby? Not like, not like, oh no, they want me to play rugby. There's no fear. He just thought it was hilarious. He went, well, that's not going to last very long. Were I'd you, were be you... like, why are we, what are we doing? Why are we doing this? Yeah. And they'd be like, it's PE. I'd be like, I just don't. Do you know what the first thing he said was? He this. said the kit. He said that needs a redesign. I quite like the rugby kit. <laughs> yeah, that well, was this my is the quite thing. good one because it was like the long sleeve with the button yeah. neck. But with straight a short. away, it's about the kit. He doesn't mind the kit. Yeah, he did. You know, he doesn't mind the socks. <laughs> Are they going to go below the knee? Can can he pull them all the way up to just <laughs> mid thigh? You know, Go thigh high. <laughs> yeah, this is. I mean, if they want, you know, if they should put him in the team because he'd disrupt the opposition. <laughs> I mean, maybe that's it. Maybe that's the secret weapon. 